All right, in this video, we're going to establish control. Basically, what that is, is we're going to set up on the surveyor's points, and then we're going to add coordinates to our own known point monuments. Because we all know that these surveyor points are going to get destroyed eventually. And you might be halfway through building the building, and all of a sudden, most of your points are gone, you're not getting a good setup anymore, and you've lost control. That's why we go ahead, when we first get here, we establish our own control that's uh, going to last long and it's really good. So, a couple things I've already done. I've already checked these surveyor points, make sure they match what I got in my controller. I've already got those points in my controller as known points. I've already gone around and built these known point monuments. There's other videos that'll show you how to build these. So when you make your known point monuments, you want to have at least six for a building. And you want to have them all the way around the site. And that's so when you set up, because you'll be using these to set up anywhere, you'll get a good intersection with a bunch of different angles and that'll give you a really accurate setup. I've got my instrument set up about in the middle of all the points. It's turned on and I'm going to connect to it. I'm going to set up on the surveyor's points now. Go into the job, applications, set up total station, anywhere, say and measure first point. That'll be this surveyor point. This is 1052. So I've selected my first point. Now I need to turn the instrument towards me. And lock it on. I can go ahead and hit back while it's searching. All right, it's locked on. I'm plumb. It's tracking me. I've told it what point I'm about to shoot. I'll go ahead and take the shot. All right, second point's going to be over here. This is point 1051. Click on that. It's tracking. I'm plumb. I'm going to take the shot. All right. I'm going to add another point. I'm going to shoot all of these surveyor points. You want to make sure you shoot all of them. Unless you've got like 30 surveyor points, then you don't want to shoot all of them because it would take too long. Just use your judgment. You need to make sure you get shots that are all around the whole building. Basically, right now, we're locating where the building is. This is 1050. Take the shot. Keep going. Once you start setting up and establishing control, don't let anything distract you. You need to do all this in one go, just so the instrument doesn't get out of level or something. This is... 1055. I need to add another point. 1055. Take the shot. All right. I'm going to go to the next point. This is 1054. Take the shot. And the last point over here. So far, this is your typical setup anywhere routine. And we're getting the instrument set up so that we can then measure points on our monuments. Add a point, 1053. Take the shot. Okay, so we'll go to finish setup. All right, our horizontal deviation is one eighth of an inch. That's pretty good, but the whole reason we're doing this is because it's not always going to be that good. We're here, nobody else is here. As soon as the other trades start coming in, that's going to get destroyed and it's going to start getting worse and worse and worse if you don't establish your own control. All right, so the next thing we're going to do is I'm going to adjust the elevation. So I've got a finished floor benchmark over there. I'm going to add 
go ahead and add that now. So we'll click adjust elevation, manual height, because it's I'm measuring to a known elevation or benchmark. Click that. All right, let me grab the camera. All right, here's our finished floor elevation benchmark. Now in my point file, everything is based on a finished floor elevation of zero. So we're gonna call this zero. But if you want, you could tell it that this is 289.50. That's the actual elevation. So say your plans are all based on actual elevation. Well, then you could use that. I'm gonna use zero. Make sure my pull, my uh, height of rod or target height, whatever you want to call it, is correct. This is at five feet. It's asking the manual height. It's asking what is the elevation of that. I'm calling that zero. I'm going to click OK. Now I need to change the height of rod because right now it says it's zero. So I click this button, target height, change it to five feet. Click OK. Next. So we'll put it up here. Get it relatively plumb. And then I'm going to hit save. And there we go. So now we hit finish setup. All right. Now we're going to go to measure. And we're going to add coordinates to these. So we'll go Applications, Measure. I'm just checking my rod height again. It's five feet. We're going to change that to zero. Let's just make it zero. Hit Next. Here's what we're going to do. I want to get some extra accuracy out of this because this instrument, the LN series, is about has about one eighth inch accuracy, but really it's about a sixteenth. And the angle I think is five seconds or something like that. Anyways, so each shot you take, it might vary just a little bit every time. So what I want to do is take, I'm going to take a bunch of shots and it's going to add a cluster of points that looks like this. And all that is, is just showing you the instrument's accuracy. So then I'm going to create a point right in the middle. And that's actually going to be uh, this monument's point. So now I'm going to go around and start shooting a bunch of points. I'm going to take a shot at each prism face because there might be slight variances in the prism itself. So in order to kind of eliminate all that error, I'm going to take a bunch of shots and put one point in the middle at the end. First I'm taking a bunch of shots and I'm going to call them uh, Z or something, right? I'll call it Z so that I have a large group of Z points and I'll just delete all of them at the end. The layer doesn't matter. So the instrument's tracking and I'm going to start saving these points. There's one, two. Now you'll see what I'm talking about here. Let me zoom in. Zoom all the way in. All right, see how those two points are different? You can see your scale here. From here to here, it's about 3 sixteenths of an inch. So that's probably a sixteenth there. But you turn it, take a shot, turn it, take a shot. All right, see there's one that is kind of random. But you're starting to get a group, right? And we'll come back and add points to this. But right now, I'm going to do every single one of these monuments. So I'll make sure the instrument's tracking me. Come over here. Okay, now the screen didn't move because I'm on the... All right, I'm on the as-is view. I'm going to click this and it automatically will center the screen where I'm at. 
I'm gonna go back to the as is, and I'm just gonna start taking shots here. See how far that one is? This is just a combination of the instrument's accuracy, the prism's accuracy, and you can see that this is just pure, we're just isolating the error in these objects. You can tell it's about a 3 16 inch long group of points. All right, that's good for this one. Now I've got six of these known monuments set around. It's so like I said, I recommend you do six. Normally this will be easy, but I gotta carry the camera as well. This monument is on a tree. This is one of the easy ones to make. Okay, it's tracking me, but I'm going to change this view so it recenters me. And I just prefer it as is, but here we go. So we'll start taking these shots. All right, that looks pretty good. We'll go over to another monument. So it's windy, but the trees aren't moving this far down. All right, it's tracking me. We'll go shoot another one. All right, that's pretty good. We'll go over to the last one. Which is on a stump. Might as well take advantage of a stump if you got one. That's another easy place to put one of these monuments. So. The easy ones don't take long to set up. The other one takes about 15 minutes to make. So still not too bad, especially the amount of headache it'll save you. Okay, we can relax now. We're done taking all these shots. I'm gonna hit back. Now we're in the, just the regular plan view. And you can see these groups are everywhere. Now we're just gonna, I've already got these things labeled. That one was number one, this is number two, three, four, five, six around. So I'm gonna start here. I'm gonna zoom in. There's the cluster. I'm just gonna click the screen where I think the middle is located, hold it. Click create point here. I'm gonna call it point number one. It's that one. I'm starting with that one over there. Click OK. Layer zero is fine. We're gonna convert these to known points, but first we're creating layout points. Click add point. Zoom out. Let's get this going. Zoom extents. I'm gonna zoom in. Point number two. Click about the middle of this point group. And create point here. 
Point number two, yes. Add point. Zoom extents. Go over here. This is point number three. This looks about the middle. Create a point here. All right, point number four. This is point number five. And the last one, point number six. Create point here, number six, add point. Now we're gonna delete all those Z points. So I'm gonna hit back, click on my points, click search, type Z, okay. Now it's only showing Z points, so I can select all of these, hit this down arrow, delete, yes, and that'll clean it up. Hit back, job, you can see there's that point we created, zoom extents, and there's our points, one, two, three, four, five, six, but they're layout points. We need to convert these now to known points. Go back, click on your points, select all of these, click the down arrow, convert to control point, click OK, OK. All right, now they've disappeared from this design point list because they're no longer layout points. They are known points. Now, I've got my control points here. And I've got the original surveyor's control points here. I'm going to delete these surveyor control points. Only because I'm never going to use them again. And... If this is for somebody else, I don't want somebody else to start setting up on these and mixing them with ours and theirs, and I'm just going to delete these. All right, now I'm only left with my control points. And that's basically how you set up control.